first, uh, I give Mercer a lot of credit. Um, you know, I, I think Coach would – I don't know what Coach would have sa had said. I bet you he thinks they could have played better. I bet you he don't think they played great. Um, that's how good they are, that they could – I don't think they – I've seen them play better, and I know they will play better. So will my team. Um, I thought we did a good job defensively over around. Uh, Coach Golden, Coach Person put together an outstanding – game plan for what they did. They're hard to guard. We try to play them a little bit of zone. I thought maybe zone was going to be effective, but it wasn't. We just haven't played it enough. It was the first time we had a couple possessions of zone, but, you know, Lewis had a had a phenomenal game, probably you know, his career high for sure, and uh, he was almost unguardable. Um, for us, things got dicey when, Len, when, when Lang goes down. Taj is on limited minutes. Taj was on a, uh, he was, on, we wanted to try to play him 10. He played 12. So, um, and our point guards had 10 assists and no turnovers between Kareem and Taj. That's pretty good. He helps us defensively. We, he, was, he was plus eight was his plus minus in the game. We won by seven. In Taj's 12 minutes, we were plus eight. We just, he makes us better because he has got elements that we don't have as far as he's a little unique especially on his defensive end, his communication. So that's a very positive sign. Uh, Lang, ankle, Achilles, uh, don't know about Saturday. Uh, Kareem will be out probably a day or two. He'll really be sore tomorrow. Uh, they just brought that thing in there, taped it up tight, and he was able to go. And obviously, you know, he made game-winning plays, you know, when he had to. But I thought we got more contributions from more guys, and, and as a result, we were able to win. Was Kareem, was it hurting? I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, it's hurting. Now. It looked like it looked like he broke his leg, you know. Looked like we're gonna have to get a stretcher, call an ambulance. I actually thought if there was any like like shock pads to bring him back to life, <laughs> I thought that's because it looked like he, you know. So I'm sure it hurt, but you know it looked like he was out for the year, not a minute. Something was he hurt when he was down the stretch? Oh yeah. Oh gosh, that thing is sore. It's big as yeah. It's big. It's sore. Yes. What were you thinking when he takes off? Oh. What am I thinking? I'm thinking, I went to the trainer going, can I have Taj back for 19 more minutes? I told Pat Kime to get ready. TJ Dunnes was going to have to go to point guard. I mean, yeah, yeah, Kareem's out, Taj's out, Purifoy's out, Lang's out. Ta well, was, it, was the, was the three-pointer with, with 30 seconds left, was that kind of one of those? No, 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 good shot. Not because no, because he's that's his shot. So he's probably made about a half a dozen of those this year. Um, you know, there really wasn't much of a set. We're going to bring him a ball screen, and you know, he just he's able to get to the line and pull. And you watch the bench. The bench think that ball's going in. It's just going in. Um, again, I'd like him to get to the foul line more, um, but he's a dangerous. He's a very dangerous offensive player. Well, I mean, I, th I think he had confidence, you know, to, to be able to do that. Um, we got a couple stops at the end. I don't know what Mercer, they keep teams to 36% shooting, even though they only shot 43. Um, it's better than what they do. Um, the fact that we didn't turn it over. I thought we missed a lot of shots around the basket early. Um, our execution could be better. We'll put, we, we need to play better. We will play better. But I mean, we showed a little bit of heart, a little bit of character. Those kids are coming together. That team's going to challenge for the SoCon. They'll, 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 be right, they'll be right there for the league championship. What was it with the bigs in particular? Bruce just alluded to it, but Sim until the final couple of buckets, he makes putbacks. And of course, they, they had us pretty safe. <coughs> yeah, I mean, when you get Sim that close, he's got to finish at a higher percentage. And, um, yeah, so it's funny. He had a double-double, didn't play well. And he, he that's how good he could be at times. But he still had a double-double. And um, I thought Horace defensively was a factor out there. You know, T.J. Dunnans really quietly had a big night. Four blocks, just was his athleticism, played 37 minutes, played a lot of minutes. So I don't typically like to play, you know, Tyler 35, T.J. 37. That's just, that's just too many minutes. You know, Bryce played 31. So it hurts It hurts having Lang out. Bruce, you feel like Dunham's kind of answered the challenge tonight to give me more 
production from other, other guys? I thought he did. Yeah, I thought he did. But what happens is you can't, like Sim or even TJ, let's say you get off to a bad start. Let's say you don't play well. He got off to a bad start at middle, and he never could get it going. You're not always going to get off to a good start. You can't let the ebbs and the flows affect you. My team's emotional. They're passionate. Sometimes our emotions get in the way. But don't think they panicked. Is there a concern, Bruce, that, that man, you had another double-digit second half lead? And yep. Lost, you got down to one point. Yep. Is there a concern that that kind of keeps happening? You know, I don't, I don't, yeah, would that be the right answer? Yes, I'm concerned. Um, maybe that's something to do with heavy minutes. Um, and um, we just got a lot, I mean, for me, I looked at a lot of things that, a lot of things that we didn't do well, a lot of things we didn't do right that, that really could have cost us the game. I think we can improve on those things. Or does it to answer the bell though at the end of the game like that just from a confidence standpoint for all those things that they didn't do well? Hey, we're, we're five and two, not four and three, going to Xavier. How how big is that? It's huge. It's huge. One of the things I was telling uh, some folks before the game is, you know, my job is to teach them, but I gotta give them confidence also. Boy, it's hard to play the schedule we play and help them build build confidence. You know, Mercer is a nobody wants to play them. Nobody wants to play him because they do so many really good things. He's a hard prep. And um, they, you know, they go to Arkansas, they go to Ohio State, they've got some good games coming up. So, but I'm, I, I was not happy with our execution. We left a lot of things on the board because I thought we slopped through a bunch of stuff. I think I think we have we, they ran a lot of zone and I think we got good zone stuff and I think I got guys we got guys that can shoot it we get it inside against zone a little bit we didn't drive it as well against the zone as we could have but a lot of people lose to teams like Mercer because they just don't have very good zone offense we got good zone offense our kids are confident in it and so and then I thought we mixed in those those runs where you get out and all of a sudden it's a tight game next thing you know we, we're back up. Because we got we got out, knocked down some shots. And Bryce Brown knocked down some big shots. Yeah, but, good? I wanted to ask one, one more. Uh, up in Nashville, really struggled coming out of the locker room at halftime. You did much better today. Talk about that. Well, we talked about what we got to do differently, and so the guys were aware. We talked about it at halftime. So we came out and scored a couple times and got a stop and extended the lead. And that's what you got to do. Another great crowd. It's unbelievable. We only play once at home in a period of like 35 days. So now. Now, you know, we'll talk about Xavier later in the week, but obviously uh, a top 10 team and a team that we probably pissed off pretty good last year. So I'm sure that they're excited about us coming back, and it'll be a great challenge against a, against a great program. All right. Thank you, Tyler Harris and Crane Cassie are coming now. That's Tyler's third